Mosses are small flowerless plants that usually grow in dense green clumps or mats in damp or shady locations. The individual plants are usually composed of simple one cell thick leaves covering a thin stem that supports them but does not conduct water or nutrients. At certain times they produce thin stalks topped with capsules containing spores. There are around 12,000 species of moss that can be found throughout the world. Mosses are usually bright green in colour. Some species can be pale green, almost white, bluish green, yellowish green or velvety black green. The main commercial use of mosses is for decorative purposes such as in gardens and in the florist trade. Traditional uses of mosses include insulation and for the ability to absorb liquid up to 20 times their weight. They are small herbaceous plants that absorb water and nutrients mainly through their leaves and harvest carbon dioxide and sunlight to create food by photosynthesis. They do not have proper roots but have thread-like rhizomes that anchor them to the substrate. The fossil record of moss is sparse due to their soft-walled and fragile nature. When the ancestors of today's moss started to spread on land 470 million years ago, they absorbed CO2 from the atmosphere and extracted minerals by secreting organic acids that dissolved the rocks they were growing on. Since mosses have no vascular system to transport water through the plant or waterproofing systems to prevent tissue water from evaporating, they must have a damp environment in which to grow and a surrounding of liquid water to reproduce. Shade tolerance varies by species, just as it does with higher plants. In most areas, mosses grow chiefly in areas of dampness and shade, such as wooded areas and at the edges of streams, but they can grow anywhere in a cool, damp, cloudy climate, and some species are adapted to sunny, seasonal, dry areas like alpine rocks or stabilised sand dunes. It is generally believed that in northern latitudes, the north side of trees and rocks will generally have more moss growth on average than the other sides. This is assumed because the sun on the south side creates a dry environment. South of the equator, the reverse would be true. However, naturalists feel the mosses grow on the damper side of trees and rocks. In some cases, such as sunny climates in temperate northern latitudes, this will be the shaded north side of the tree or rock. Moss can stop its metabolism almost completely during hot periods of the year when water is not available. They are also indicators of pollution as they can only grow in clean environments. Pre-industrial societies made use of mosses growing in their areas. Laplanders and other circumpolar people used mosses for bedding. North American tribal people use mosses for basketry, bedding and wound dressing. Some sphagnum mosses can absorb up to 20 times their own weight in water. In World War I, sphagnum mosses were used as first aid dressings on soldiers' wounds, as these mosses, said to absorb liquids three times faster than cotton, retain liquids better, better distribute liquids uniformly throughout themselves, and are cooler, softer, and are less irritating. It was claimed that they had mild antibacterial properties. Certain animals, such as reindeer, consume mosses because they contain chemical which warms the blood of the animal. The lifespan of moss depends on the species, but it can range from 2 to 10 years. <laughs>